DeeperBlue.com, uh, DEMA 2012. We're here with Andy Casagrande at the uh, uh, GoPro uh, booth. Uh, and we're here to talk a little bit about the relationship in between Andy and, and GoPro and what exciting things he's doing with all the uh, um, fantastic gear over at, at GoPro. Right on. So what, what uh, Andy, what, uh, uh, how did the relationship start with GoPro and, and you know, how did you go from, I mean, you, you're a famous uh, cinematographer and, and how, how, how did that happen? Like, who did you meet and how did you grow the relationship? And Well, basically, I've started working for National Geographic about seven years ago. And, you know, National Geographic's known for big cameras, the best technology in the world. Um, but what we started to discover that was that, in, you know, everyone has seen a lion kill a zebra the same way over and over and over. So audiences around the world want to see something different. And the fact that these GoPro cameras are this big and they can shoot 4K resolution and shoot slow motion and frame bursts and all these amazing features that you'd expect only from a camera that costs $50,000, basically I had to jump on that. Because I love sharks, I love big predators, and um, the cool thing about GoPros is we treat them almost as if they're disposable. So a camera that I'd use for National Geographic where the producer says, no, no, it's not worth the risk, we might break the camera. With GoPro, that removes all of those inhibitions and all those restrictions. And, I mean, GoPro is not, a small camera is not a new concept. There's been all types of little small cameras, even this one you're holding now. But in reality, GoPro sort of, they just exploded with these amazing new ways and mounts to basically get angles that no one's ever seen before. So they're truly like helping revolutionize the way we see and film the world. And it started through uh, Great White Sharks. I wanted to put cameras on the backs of Great White Sharks. And in the process of that, the sharks kept wanting to bite the cameras and the cameras were still rolling. So when we were lucky enough to get some of them back, we saw this footage inside the mouth of a Great White Shark that no one ever had seen before. You can see these little parasites and the sharpness and serration of their teeth. And people were like, holy shit, like, this, this is just groundbreaking stuff and the only way we could get it was with these GoPro cameras. So I contacted GoPro, I said, guys, check this out, I'm working with sharks, they're doing cool things with their cameras, and immediately they're like, dude, this is awesome. Well, first of all, most of us are surfers, so we love sharks, we respect the ocean, but they scare the shit out of us. So the fact that you're working with them and showing, you know, showing a different side of these predators and showing that they're really inquisitive and really powerful and fascinating, uh, it, it sort of sparked a relationship there. And I took it further to go with lions and polar bears and even really dangerous creatures like girls, like my wife over there. But um, yeah, the reality was uh, these cameras were, it's basically a tool that, um, that there's no other tool like it in the world. What? Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. What's the most exciting shot you can, because you're talking about a lot of different shots about, you know, and, and if possible in the water because we're at the DEMA right. today. So, like, the, the way you set it up and what you got out of it, like. Probably the most exciting shot um, or shots have been with the Great Whites just because they're yeah. such iconic mega predators and they love to bite stuff. Yeah. So, I actually remember when I met the CEO of GoPro, Nick Woodman, met him at the HD2 uh, launch party. And he came up, gave me a big hug. He's like, dude, I love your shark work. This is great. And, you know, I got to realize, like, of course they love it. You know, we're feeding cameras to apex predators, and usually we don't get them back, so that means we got to buy more. But also, a higher meaning to that was, it seems Nick always believed in putting professional content, content devices in the hands of everybody. Not just cameramen and professional uh, film crews, but everyone, from your mom, your sister, to strap it onto your dog. So, but back to the most exciting shot was definitely inside the mouth of a great white. I was towing a, a seal decoy behind a boat and I embedded a GoPro pointing straight down and one pointing straight up to get the perspective of what it would be like to be you know, not to demonize the sharks, but what it would be like to be eaten and, and consumed by a great white shark. And we did just that. You could see the, the vertical ambush approach from underneath, and it nailed the seal decoy, grabbed it, and as it was in the air, still biting on the thing, GoPro has this amazing ability to expose, like, instantly. You can go from a dark closet to the bright sunlight, and it does better than my $100,000 Red Epic system. So, it's kind of weird. I mean, I, just, I still can't fathom how they're pulling it off but they are. 
What What's next? You think like what are you envisioning for like next possible shots you, you can set up with a GoPro? And I mean the you know the opportunities are endless. I have a few secrets that I can't uh, <laughs> uh, disclose right now, but um, but I, I think just being able to enter the world, see the see wildlife from their perspective, because generally when we're filming, we're stuck in a Land Rover or behind the bars of a cage or whatever. But GoPro allows you to go unfettered. First of all, because the cameras are so small, you can travel with a multitude of cameras, and now you got Wi-Fi, so you can remotely monitor. So you can do really non-intrusive um, filming techniques that you can't do with bigger cameras. So you know, I still don't really know exactly, or I still really can't say exactly what I'm up to next. But uh, it's going to be some really cool things on the horizon. And I mean, in the extreme sports world with skydiving and free diving, you guys are all about free diving. We had the amazing opportunity to work with Mark Healy, who's a world-class freediver, and um, you know, he's swimming through shipwrecks, and he's got three GoPros attached to him, and diving under planes, and through, you know, crowds of sharks, and none of that's possible. You couldn't freedive 120 feet with a red Epic housing. You could take five GoPros with you, though, so it's just that small, you know, they say, you know, the girls will argue that size matters, and, you know, in this in this sense, smaller is better, so, um, I mean, it's just really exciting. Well, thanks a lot. Um, for your time and, and, and those incredible experiences you, you've shared with the world. I, I'd like to ask you also, like, where can we see those shots? Like, I've got a couple of Most of them, unfortunately, are owned by the big networks, National yeah. Geographic Discovery, but um, I've realized that, you know, now I don't need a big budget to make these same type of films because GoPros are so affordable. I don't need a $100,000 camera system to get mind-blowing footage that the world wants to see. So I do have some that I can share with great whites chewing on GoPros and a couple of other things that uh, I'd be happy to send your way. That, that would be accessible, accessible you think, via the GoPro website or, or your website? or Yeah, GoPro has a couple listed on there yeah. um, and uh, I've got a couple uh, that I can send you. Or, I, I'm really bad at self-promotion. That's why I like hanging out with GoPro. So, <laughs> um, yeah, but we'll hook you up with some stuff. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Andy. You got it, man. And your incredible experience with GoPro. Thanks, man. Thank you. We